good day. Welcome to King William Rose Everything. Today we're going to take a look at the Tinker Board from Asus. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi 3 competitor. Uh, it's got the exact same form factor, so you can use your existing cases for the most part, and we'll kind of show you that later on. But um, it has some really nice specs, actually much better specs than the Raspberry Pi 3, and it does upscaling to 4K from uh, the 1080. So that's kind of neat where the uh, Raspberry Pi doesn't quite do that. Uh, it's just a, a 1080p where this does 4K, so that's kind of kind of cool. So if you're doing um, uh, Cody that kind of thing, uh, you might see some better uh, better resolution and uh, some better uh, speed out of this guy. Um, basically, very simple little box, nothing fancy about it. Uh, so you can see Mr. Side, Mr. Bottom, hey, Mr. Bottom. You can see the, see the specs. Um, it's got a 1.8 gigahertz processor. Um, 2 gigs of RAM versus the 1 gig from the Raspberry Pi, 4K HD audio, um, it's got the normal Bluetooth, the normal um, Wi-Fi, uh, and it has a gigabit Ethernet, so that's kind of one of the things I've been looking for uh, versus the 100 meg. And um, it has the same ports <coughs> as the Raspberry Pi, the camera port, the LCD port, the same location, so you can use all, the, all those um, uh, options. And it can, has the same GPIO pins. and they will let you do the same hats, the same uh, accessories and stuff like that, same voltages. So that's kind of kind of neat that they did. They basically duplicated it, and um, it's basically the same thing, just a little different. And it's 32-bit versus 64-bit, so some of the or pretty much all the operating systems for the Raspberry Pi will not work on it. So you have to either compile it. Uh, you can see in the box what you get. You get the um, Mr. Manual, uh, pretty brief. You get the idea and nice color coded. For the GPIO pins, kind of layout of the board, so that's kind of cool. But you can see it's the same same layout as the Raspberry Pi. The processor is in different spots, so that, that's only a really big difference. Or the chips, some of the chips are in different spots. The FCC things, voila. Let's take a look at this guy. So here's Mr. Heatsink, and you'll want to put this on. You know when they sell a heatsink with it, uh, you better put it on. I, just by running, I haven't done it any any temperature tests, but it does get pretty darn pretty darn warm. So you want to keep that uh, free. And as you see, it's the same uh, same size as the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it does have some nice uh, um, color coded uh, GPIO pins, so that's kind of neat. So you can go by the reference, and, and just if you know if you're trying to plug something in using four pins or five pins, you know you just uh, instead of trying to count, you can kind of see by the colors. And <clears throat> there's Mr. Pins. Uh, you can see that's got some nice little logos. They did a nice job on the, the silk screening. Showing Mr. Keyboard goes here, Mr. Camera goes here, you know, Mr. You know, LCD goes here. So that's a really nice, nice little option. Um, the, the board looks a little busy compared to Raspberry Pi with all the, the silk screening, but you know you're paying a premium for this board, so they they, they kind of went a little above and beyond. Um, it weighs a little heavier than the Raspberry Pi, and that's fine. You know, you're not going to be carrying it around. But uh, and there's Mr. HDMI port. Um, the, it's powered by the USB port, so basically all the same uh, 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 power plugs, that kind of stuff. It all works the same, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the bottom is not much on. You see the memory, the memory chips. But um, there's the GPIO pins again. There's Mr. Top. It's kind of shiny. And there it is again. There's, you can see the rock chip uh, processor right there. Let's see if we can zoom in. But that's where Mr. Heatsink goes, and that's kind of the problem I have with the case. The case I have, it doesn't really fit in. But we're going to do a little modification to that. But all in all, it seems like this is a you know pretty pretty nice board you know, spec-wise when you look at it. Uh, the faster processor, twice the memory. So that's that that's one of the cool things. Um, the size being exactly the same. That's that's like a bonus. So now existing cases, pretty much, uh, you can plop and drop in there. Uh, there's some disadvantages. The operating systems for the Raspberry Pi are not going to work on there. Uh, and um, ASUS has uh, Tinker OS, and they have Android uh, image out there that work really well. And we're going to later on, probably in part two, we'll that's what we'll do. We'll install operating system, try some different ones out. I think I bought two, um, but uh, it's, so far it seems like a nice board. Uh, it just very very colorful. They did a really really nice job, and you got to give them credit for that. Having coming out as a competitor to, to uh, the Raspberry Pi, so I think they got a long way to go coming out this late in the game. But um, still, you got to give them credit for that. The case, this is um, 
uh, for my can of kit that I have. Uh, I got a bunch of them, and I use the Raspberry Pi. I think I got a different case, but this one has this kind of a three part. It has top, uh, the middle piece, and then the bottom part where the, the board pops into. And you see the middle piece has cutouts for the um, uh, little heat sinks for the processor for the network card, which I'm not never, never really sure why, why why the network card needed a, a heat sink, but let's see if we can get this sucker open. Come on, baby, open up for me. There we go. There's Mr. Bottom, and like I said, this is a Raspberry Pi uh, case for uh, the mechanic kit, and she basically plops in there. It helps if I stick it in right. Oop. Oh, come on, baby, get in there. There we go. That's it. There we go. Perfect. And we'll put Mr. Top on. And here's where you see the first problem. Everything else lines up. All the uh, uh, HDMI, the USB, all that stuff. The processor is where we're having a problem. At the uh, the middle part actually covers up part of the processor because the processor on this board is in a different spot. So I think we're gonna have to dremel out uh, a little piece of that that plastic so the heat sink will fit on there. We can put the case together. But uh, we can fix that. That's easy. And I, yeah, I think there's maybe one, two, three, oh, just a little couple couple notches here. We'll, we'll chop that up. And I said I want to run this without the the, uh, the heat sink on it. I'm sure this sucker is going to be uh, quite hot. Um, just figuring the, the speed of the processor is going to be a little toasty. Even the Raspberry Pi gets pretty darn toasty. Uh, you can run it without the, the heat sink, but you probably don't want to be doing that. And everything else fits fine. So we're going we're gonna to chop this off and you know we'll get that to fit in there. But uh, I really like these cases. Um, uh, they, they're really nice. They're, I mean, they're cheap, but I, I like the clear one. I got a black one. Black one's nice because you don't have to look through, but I want to see the lights blink on this. So here we go. You can kind of see I got it all apart again. I got Mr. Heatsink on. And there's Mr. Heatsink. And she's on there really, really good. There's a little close up of the heatsink. And this is the same as the Raspberry Pi heatsinks. It's just uh, the, the uh, heat, 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 heat tape. Uh, heat sink tape so you just you know peel it stick it on and it works really well and you can see on the case here what I've done uh, I just dremeled there there and there and cut out that little that little piece there and that way it gives me a little extra room uh, to uh, put it all together so I, I really don't want to buy another case I mean I like this case that I, I got it as it's sitting around so uh, unless I'm going to do something special, I'm going I'm to put it in a case where it's uh, nice and protected. You can kind of see, let's see, let's put it in the case. Let's see if I can do this right. Aha, look at me go. Nope, maybe not. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Perfect. There's the bottom. There's Mr. Middle. And look at that. Nope. Let's see. Let's see if I put it on straight. And she's in. Look at that. Very professional, but it, the cutouts are really nice. It, like all the other cutouts, uh, other than the, like where the, the network card uh, chip used to be, that's kind of what I just pointed at. Um, there's no heatsink for that. I never, I never really understood why do you need heatsink for the network card, but you know, maybe it did. I don't know. Never seemed like that one got hot, but that's okay. But the camera port, the LCD, the HDMI, all those ports, those notches lined right up. And you can see here's the the Ethernet, the USB ports, they all, all lined up perfectly. All in all, um, a nice little uh, kit from Asus. Uh, part two, what we'll do is we'll install a couple of operating systems, see how the sucker performs. So I'm kind of excited about that and then see if we can get uh, what, what other images we can get out there. Maybe we can compile something, but we'll get something on there. So anyway, uh, have a great day.